You'll have to be quick to see this comet. Hey road trippers, we're sharing with you our best tips as avid stargazers to see Comet C 2024 G3 Atlas. This one isn't being widely talked about in the news after all the publicity of Autumn's Comet A3, but it'll be fun to try and catch a glimpse of it over the next week. For reference, Allison and I live in the Dallas area and we've shot numerous comets over the years in both urban and rural spots. Also, keep our Texas location in mind if you're at a higher latitude, since G3 is considered a Southern Hemisphere comet, so you might not get the chance to see it at all. It'll be a tricky one right on the horizon, so look for a flat area free of trees and other obstructions. Your first potential chance to see G3 will be on January 13th, immediately after the sun sets in the southwest. For us, that'll be around 5.45 p.m. It'll be pretty tough to spot with the sky still very bright and only a 10 minute window until the comet also dips below the horizon. You're essentially looking right near the sun to find it. The next evenings of January 14th and 15th will be a little better since G3 will be separated from the sun more. And as the week marches on, Comet G3 will continue to rise a bit in the sky each night into the constellation Capricornus. Keep in mind, it gets dimmer as the days pass since it's making its way out of the solar system. But you also get a little more time to spot it since it won't be as lost in the sun's glare. We feel the 16th and 17th could be the final chance for stargazers to see the comet using just binoculars. From the northern hemisphere, G3 will be skirting a few degrees above the horizon, and the setting sun will continue to remain a viewing issue. Try using Stellarium or other stargazing apps to find it. Test a few out and pick one that works best for you. Since it'll be within 5 to 10 degrees of the sun this week, use common sense when hunting for Comet G3. We don't want you to harm your eyes when looking for it, since you'll need some binoculars or a telescope to find it. This is going to be a hard comet to see if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, but give it a shot and tell us how it went. We'd love to hear if you were able to see it. Thanks for watching. For more information on stargazing under dark skies, or how to enjoy an astrotourism trip, visit our website, rwtadventures.com.